I don't take him lightly. I'm sure this is the week he's going to have the best game ever. Um, I'm sure Rob Gronkowski is going to go crazy all over me because uh, he's going to be mad and angry like Tom Brady is going to be after that loss to Kansas City. They normally bounce back big after a loss, so this is not good news for Matty. Uh, they like Drew Brees. I'm hoping that Chris Johnson and Bernard Pierce lay eggs for him, and I do okay with my guys. But, you know, again, this could be the week that I get upset and he finally gets a victory. Who's next? Who's next? We've got brother and sister playing each other. Todd and Cat have a big game. Uh, let's see, projected, they both have 10, so they got full rosters, but it's got punishment due big, 140 over Cat's 108. Even though she's got 10 people in there, uh, maybe she's got to mix them up a little bit, because 108 is pretty light. Yeah, she hasn't made any moves, but don't expect that to be what's going to happen. She's smart. She'll she'll shuffle her uh, lineup around. And, I mean, history tells you she's going to bounce back because she always is competitive. Uh, and you love to remind me that she has a, a trophy that I still do not. So she is a – yes, you do. Yes. Uh, again, I hope Todd loses just because I can't stand him and his toe-crushing abilities. Uh, he's got Des Bryant, who, again, I hope gets stifled in Houston. I hope that Tony never even gets a pass to him because he's getting crushed by J.J. Watt. And he's got that stupid redhead Andy Dalton back on his roster that he touted so highly that he jumped right off the Cousins bandwagon. Now he's going to try to show me how Andy Dalton's the man. Let's see if he catches another pass for a, a touchdown, right? Good luck there, Todd. I hope your sister hands it to you. Next up. Hey. Well, before we move on, uh, you know, that Devlin house, you can't swing a dead cat in that place without hitting a, a championship trophy. Don't remind me. The only oh. solace I take in that is the fact that Jason is only half a trophy, and he hates it, and he'll never live it down until he gets one. Oh, speaking of that, yes, your 221 has no. a Yes, because there's less teams. But wait a minute. We have, we should go back and see how many rounds we actually drafted. Because we drafted 18 rounds in this. I don't know the math off the top of my head, but something tells me we're close. So I'm still taking the 221. You can't take it from me. All right. We've got uh, Braille Bombers versus Team Duh. Uh, your mom's got some bye weeks to fill in because it's only showing uh, eight on her team right now. Projected 116. Duh, they think it's going to go off at 161. That might be the highest. Oh, no. Rockland uh, is higher, but that's the second highest projected score of the week. Yep, they uh, do love some Team Duh. Again, they're going off of uh, the, the past so far with Stafford, Murray, and Ellington. Uh, Ellington's probable, so I guess if, if he plays, he should have a good day. Pierre Garçon looks to uh, recover, but he's going up against Seattle. So I think, again, tough matchup for Washington against Seattle and Dallas at Denver. I mean, excuse me, uh, Dallas at Houston. So we'll see what happens in those. I think it would be anybody's game. My mom's been sneaky good this year. Just when you think she's out of it, Andrew Luck scores 39 or 40 point somebody else comes up with a bunch of them and somehow she ekes it out so i'm of course rooting for my mom sorry joe i can't root for you buddy you'll have to look for a victory another week what is the last matchup or is that it no we each have like one or no, two more right two more to go There's all right two more to go. We've got the malibu stacy's and the pink ladies playing which is interesting because i think both teams are desperate for a win and one of them's gonna get it obviously They've got two full rosters. They show the Malibu Stacys up 142 versus 110, but I don't know if there's some moves that need to happen on uh, Melinda's team. We'll see. Yep, we're going to see what Melinda does. You're right. This is a desperate cat fight if there's ever been one, and we love cat fights. Uh, yep. The key to Dawn's day, I think, is going to rest with Julio Jones against the Giants. What Giants are going to show up? Is it going to be the Giants showed up last week that were so powerful against Washington, or is it going to be the Giants we know in the first three weeks who laid an egg every time and let everybody throw and run on them, right? Yep. So I don't know what's going to happen. Could be anybody's game. I know they got Dawn projected highly, and uh, and we'll see if she can get a win. But right now, both teams need a win badly. We'll see what kind of moves they make. And who knows, maybe there'll be a trade before then. Could really shake up everything. You never know. I know who you're rooting for in this one, so I don't even need to ask. <laughs> well, this one is also my sister, so you never know. But, Please. Uh, Mrs. Manny is a widow no more. A uh, widow. <laughs> Uh, half her team That's back. funny. I still think she's probably going to move them in because it only shows her getting 103, and I highly doubt yep. that with uh, yep. Peyton on the team. But it's showing the Rockland Smashers projected 164 over her 103, but again, she's got to move some players around. Yep, and again, I... 
I, I'm also curious to see how Peyton does after his whooping in Seattle. Well, not whooping, but how they eked out the game in Seattle. Will he bounce back and really just dominate on Sunday, you know, showing, hey, I still got it. Don't even count me out, even though I lost to Seattle again. Um, and, yeah, she's going to move some other people into her lineup. I'm sure she's going to be fine. Jason, I mean, excuse me, not Jason, Kevin, your, your boyfriend is swinging the wood as usual. We'll see if he can keep it up or if he finally trips up a woodpecker, hits him as he's trying to enter his roster and slips up and puts in a couple people that are on buys just because I don't like somebody being 4-0 when I'm not. I think that's going to do it for this week. Any parting words from you, Mr. Heath? Oh, I got a couple, but you start and then I'll finish. Well, I want to... Uh, Bye, uh, what up? Happy fall. I think it's officially fall now. Okay, boo. <laughs> I put, you know how they had that. Ignorance? Don't stick your finger in my face. Ice bucket challenge. Yes. I'm challenging you oh. to finally come to a Halloween version of this program. Okay. With a costume with a little more effort than a big bird <laughs> hat or something <laughs> along those lines. Okay, <laughs> challenge. Cha uh, challenge accepted. And it's already in motion because, unfortunately, the new team that I'm working with, they're very into these parties, and they've already had a mandate that we have to come dressed up for work. So I will have some kind of outfit ready that day, and unfortunately, it might be one you actually will like. So I'm really going to hate that if you actually enjoy my outfit. But I'm excited about that. You're right. Happy fall. I hope more cold days are ahead. I hope you get some snow. If you get some snow, we got to get some video, some B-roll of that we'll put into the, uh, the programming. Also, I want to tell people that we haven't forgotten about all our meetups uh, even though you're remote you're going to be in town for Thanksgiving right Thanksgiving, yep. okay so we will find yep. time at Thanksgiving to get you guys down for a live visit for everybody right. and then yep. we'll also do two other ones and maybe if you're down some other time that's fine if not don't worry about it maybe we can Skype you in there and at least join for a little bit of the time but we'll set up those things. I'll, I'll reach out to Melinda and Jason for ideas for going out or whatever. And we'll talk to you later about it. But we'll definitely do three again. We'll just tell you we did last time. So uh, from uh, for Kevin Heath, this is Matt Dickey signing off next week. Set your lineups. Get ready for the bye weeks. And uh, good luck out there. Waddle doodle. Storm.